สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Puket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, November 26th, and I'm your host JP Mastanza with the news you need to know. A child porn ring is being busted by Thailand's Department of Special Investigation, the DSI, along with international agencies. And two of the locations where evidence of child pornography was uncovered were right here in Phuket. The DSI, working with the FBI and Homeland Security investigations from the U.S., along with Interpol and the Netherlands police, they all helped in carrying out raids at 11 locations in nine provinces nationwide, and two locations were found in Patong. And it all led to the arrest of six people and the seizure of computers, electronic devices, and so much more. Authorities found that all of the hardware contained more than 1,000 child sexual media files. Although the DSI declined to offer more details as to where in Patong and if anybody in Phuket was arrested during the raids, the anti-money laundering office and forensic police are now assisting in these subsequent investigations. Police are investigating a tragic road accident in Phuket town that happened yesterday that resulted in a four-month-old baby being crushed under the wheels of a tour bus. The incident took place just before 5 p.m. southbound on Phuket Road, just north of the Phuket Immigration Office, with rescue workers finding the remains of the baby on the road and her 24-year-old mother, who is from Myanmar, seriously injured. Further down the road was the tour bus, but the driver was not at the scene. He instead immediately presented himself at Phuket City Police Station as witnesses told police that the bus was driving along the road when they collided with the mother who was driving the motorbike with her daughter on board and the child was sent tumbling off the bike onto the road and that's when the horrific accident took place. Police say they're investigating and checking CCTV footage to find out more details. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The seawall at Caron Beach is meant to alleviate the coastal erosion at the popular tourist beach, and it's been under construction for several years. Well, now the Department of Marine and Coastal Resources is saying they should move the construction off the sand. The 22.5 million baht plan is for the seawall to be 470 meters long when done, and at the moment it's about 280 meters. But now the DMCR is issuing an order for the seawall to be built behind the coastal line or it might cause unintended long-term changes to the beach, they say. The order came down last week, almost two years after construction of the wall was ordered to a halt as Karam Municipality did not, at that time, obtain the proper approval from the Marine Department. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Golf is for everyone, especially at Laguna Golf Phuket. Now, expats and Thai locals can enjoy the world-class course until the end of November with special resident rates. Simply show your Thai ID card, work permit, or retirement visa. Just 1,800 baht daily for a round of 18 holes with caddy and additional 350 to include a golf cart. Or enjoy great four ball with three other friends on Sundays for only 6,000 baht. Optimize your summer by booking now at facebook.com slash Laguna Golf Phuket. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Anti-corruption investigators are looking into several schools in the northeast of Thailand over, quote, ghost students, which refers to students who are enrolled but don't show up to classes. And it's significant because there are several reasons why a school would want to do this. The first reason is money, as the Office of Basic Education Commission, or OBEC as they're called in Thailand, they give out financial subsidies to the schools based on a number of factors all to support certain students. And the school can receive anywhere between 3,500 baht to 6,250 baht per student. The second reason is to help the director of such a school to get transferred to a bigger school where many of them pocket admission bribes from parents who want to put their kid in that school. So far, investigators found that 196 ghost students were enrolled at a school in Nakhon Rajasima province, while 10 other secondary schools were all set to have varying numbers of ghost students, and the investigations are only getting started as officials have already expanded the probe to other nearby provinces. Forced marriages are a real thing in Thailand, child marriages as well, mainly in the country's southern Muslim population. And now the Central Islamic Council of Thailand are coming up with a new rule in the hopes of protecting Muslim girls who marry before the age of 18. The CICT is drafting new rules that say that Muslim women under the age of 18 must get approval 
from not just their parents, but the CICT's panel responsible for handling women's rights. And it's all aimed at protecting the young girls from abusive relationships and more. It all comes months after public outcry over a controversial marriage between a 41-year-old Malaysian man and an 11-year-old Thai girl this past June. A marriage that was not recognized under Thailand civil law, but it allegedly still took place under the auspices of an Islamic council in Naratiwa province after the parents gave their consent. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSE Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.